Hi, I'm Kay Dean, and this is Fake Review Watch. In part one of this two-part series, I showed how online marketer Elizabeth Conlon was on Facebook looking for fake reviews for plastic surgeons. I identified Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery in Beverly Hills as likely one of her clients. In this video, we'll identify two other possible plastic surgeon clients of Elizabeth Conlon. This is Elizabeth Conlon. She is a marketing director at RX Marketing. Here's one of Conlon's many solicitations on Facebook for fake reviews. Note here that she wants reviews for a plastic surgeon. I captured this screenshot of RX Marketing's website on September 14, 2021. RX Marketing said they've partnered with two Miami plastic surgery centers that we'll discuss today, Spectrum Aesthetics Center for Cosmetic Surgery and Miami plastic surgeon Adam J. Rubenstein. We'll start with Spectrum Aesthetics. Note first that Liz Conlon is following Spectrum Aesthetics on Instagram. Back on RX Marketing's website, we see that they highlighted Spectrum Aesthetics in a case study. In fact, they claim that Spectrum Aesthetics is, quote, known for great reputation and affordable prices, unquote. Well, I'm not sure about the great reputation part. Spectrum Aesthetics was one of the clinics profiled in an April 2019 USA Today story about dead and injured patients at Miami Area Plastic Surgery Centers opened by felons. The story reported that two patients were critically injured by a Spectrum Aesthetics doctor and that the clinic was founded by two people who had been charged by prosecutors with Medicare fraud. Spectrum Aesthetics' great reputation, therefore, isn't based on its press coverage. Perhaps RX Marketing is basing that comment on Spectrum Aesthetics online reviews. Let's pull up the spreadsheet I showed you in the first video. Across the top of this spreadsheet are 20 Yelp reviewers of Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery in Beverly Hills, which I argued in the first video is receiving fake reviews from Liz Conlon and RX Marketing. I also established a possible connection between Liz Conlon and Boston Best Rate Movers. But note that Spectrum Aesthetics is also on our spreadsheet and has six reviewers in common with Rodeo Drive and four in common with both Rodeo Drive and Boston Best Rate Movers. The overlap in reviews among these three businesses and the others on this spreadsheet suggest that most, if not all, of the Yelp reviews here are fake. Let's look at three of these people who have all reviewed Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery, Boston Best Rate Movers, and Spectrum Aesthetics Miami. Badisha of Baltimore, who's reviewed 11 of the 19 businesses on this spreadsheet. Arland of Connecticut, who's reviewed 10 of these businesses. And Liz M. of Los Angeles, who's reviewed eight. Here's Badisha P.'s review of Spectrum Aesthetics from October 2019. Note that she was a Yelp elite from 2018 to 2020 and that she had posted 193 reviews when I captured this screenshot. You can no longer see this review, however, because Yelp has removed Vidisha's entire profile for violating their terms of service. As an elite, Vidisha was likely able to sell reviews for $50 or more. Here are Vidisha's reviews of Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery and Boston Best Rate Movers. Both have been removed by Yelp. Interestingly, I found this Google review of Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery with the exact same text as the Yelp review from Vadisha P. The name on the Google review is Vadisha Patwarden. I found Vadisha Patwarden on LinkedIn. And on Facebook. I contacted her on Facebook to ask her how her fake reviews were arranged. I did not receive any denial from Vadisha about her fake reviews only a request not to contact her again. She deleted her Google review of Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery shortly after I contacted her. Next, we have Arlen from Connecticut's review of Spectrum Aesthetics. Notice that he is also a Yelp elite. Yelp has removed Arlen's profile for violating their terms of service as well. Arlen and Vadisha are just two of hundreds of Yelp elites I've found who seem to have no qualms about taking cash to mislead consumers and harm honest businesses. Remember, too, that Elizabeth Conlon was on Facebook soliciting Yelp Elite reviews. Lastly, here's Liz M's detailed review of Spectrum Aesthetics complete with photos. 
I showed in the first video why I believe Liz M on Yelp is a profile used by Liz Conlon to provide fake reviews. How this profile, with its clearly fraudulent review patterns, can remain active on Yelp is beyond me. So, Spectrum Aesthetics appears to be receiving fake Yelp reviews with Liz Conlon's involvement. Their Google reviews also deserve more scrutiny. Today's October 2nd, 2021, and we're looking at the Google reviews for Spectrum Aesthetics in Miami. They have a 4.7 star Google rating based on over 2,800 Google reviews. So let's sort by the newest. And this four star review just came in 25 minutes ago. Here's another four star review from two hours ago and a five star review six hours ago, six hours ago, more five star reviews 13 hours ago, 16 hours ago. 18 hours ago, 20 hours ago, more five-star reviews pouring in. There's one from 21 hours ago, more from 21 hours ago. Now 22 hours ago, 23 hours ago, more five-star reviews coming in 23 hours ago. And let's continue to look at these. And here's from a day ago, five-star reviews from a day ago. Look at all of these reviews that came in within the last day. In all, Spectrum Aesthetics has received 32 five-star Google reviews within just the last day. That's suspicious in itself. By the way, remember Liz Conlon's Facebook friend from Bangladesh, Amral Islam Menhaj? He's the guy who said he can provide over 1,000 Google reviews a day. Is it possible that Menhaj is the one streaming all of those five-star reviews to Spectrum Aesthetics in such a short time? So that's Spectrum Aesthetics. There's another Miami plastic surgeon who Liz Conlon has a connection to. Conlon's business, RX Marketing, also said that they've partnered with Miami plastic surgeon Adam J. Rubenstein. On Instagram, Liz Conlon follows Dr. Rubenstein. She also follows Ramsey Asha. Who is Ramsey Asha? Ramsey Asha's LinkedIn says that she works for Dr. Rubenstein. And here's a picture on Facebook of Dr. Rubenstein welcoming Asha to his office. I previously published two videos on Dr. Rubenstein, the Miami plastic surgeon who likes to criticize other doctors for misleading potential patients. My videos show that Dr. Rubenstein has received numerous fake Google reviews. And they also show that he was benefiting from recycled vitals reviews. In my December 2020 video on Dr. Rubenstein, I showed this spreadsheet of 40 of his Google reviewers. I claimed that their reviews were all likely fraudulent because of the overlap in businesses reviewed by these profiles. For example, of these 40 supposed Rubenstein patients, 32 all used True Green Lawn Care, 30 used ADT Security, 10 ate at the same Toronto pizzeria, and 10 even use the same Illinois fence company. Then there was this, the exact same review posted by two different people. Most likely these are fake profiles and this was a mistake by an online marketer. Note that the owner who is Dr. Rubenstein responded and had to address the anomaly. And there was this, reviews for Dr. Rubenstein from different profiles who use the same photo. This is another indication of shoddy work by an online marketer. Again, Dr. Rubenstein responds, showing he has knowledge of these reviews. Here's one more example. Catherine Reed and Audra Howell appeared to be the same person. One left Dr. Rubenstein a review, another left Redwood Dental in Michigan a review. My research was the basis for an investigative story that aired on the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation's Evening News in May 2021. Dr. Rubenstein appeared to be just one of over 1,200 North American businesses in a network receiving fake Google reviews. Google has since removed all 40 of these five-star reviews of Dr. Rubenstein on this spreadsheet, apparently in response to my videos and the CBC story. Whether Elizabeth Conlon is behind those fake reviews for Dr. Rubenstein, I can't say. What I do know is that Conlon is in the fake review business. Rubenstein has received fake reviews and Conlon's business, RX Marketing, says it has partnered with Dr. Rubenstein. Finally, let me point out one more plastic surgeon with a Liz Conlon connection. In 
November 2020, I published a video on Epion, a famous Beverly Hills cosmetic surgery center obtaining fake Yelp reviews. I even had ironclad evidence that this Yelp Elite review of Epion was fake and that the Elite reviewer had been paid $50 for it. Well, guess who else has provided Epion with a Yelp review? Liz C. of Los Angeles, one of Liz Conlon's Yelp profiles. Elizabeth Conlon is just one of a multitude of online marketers out there polluting Google, Yelp, and other review sites with fake reviews, and doctors are prominent among her clients. My advice to consumers once again is do not trust online reviews.